Hello guys, welcome back. It's is Electronic Channel with a brand new video and today we will build something cool, something useful and the name for it is a constant current regulator. Let's get to it. So what's a constant current uh, regulator? Uh, well, it's a device that will take theoretically unlimited amounts of amps and give you a constant current, for example, one amp, no matter what load you apply to it. So to build one, all you need is a LM317, which has a input adjust pin and output okay adjusting pin is pin number one input is pin number three output is pin number two okay so all you need to do is put a resistor right here and connect it like that so your Positive will go here, and this is your output. Positive. You will lose 1.25 volts across this device. That's the negative side. So, how do we adjust the constant current value? Well, uh, the way you adjust it is actually. Uh, current out will equal to 1.25 divided by R. In our case, uh, we are using a 1 ohm resistor. Which will equal to 1.25 amps theoretically obviously our uh, resistor is 5% so we lose some of the accuracy here so there will be some fluctuation in our result but that's about it so let's actually build this so today uh, we will be using our breadboard and we do have trouble with this power supply just a little bit, so uh, we're going to use a external uh, battery I made. This is a 3S uh, LiPo battery. If you want to know what it is, uh, I can actually make a video about it. Anyway, so we will take our power from here and we will put it on the board and actually build our circuit. to measure the current boom as you can see 1.22 amps 
iron drum. This circuit doesn't take too long, but why would you build something like this? Well, you really have to answer this question to yourself. Because the constant current uh, circuit or power supply can be used for a whole variety of things. For example, uh, driving LEDs. Uh, you can drive smaller LEDs. Uh, you can just limit the power output. You can do anything you want. Uh, because there is really no limitation to what you can do with this circuit. So I'm done here. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you will know when a new video comes out. And see you next time.